Project Zomboid Determination. Let's check it out. Yeah, I love this. This is so intense. And I actually really like the ticking clock in the background. You can't really hear it unless you're really paying attention. But if I just circle back really quick to the first couple seconds. You hear that? Wow, right away, this actually makes me want to play Project Zomboid a lot more. So uh, I've dabbled in it a little bit. It was a little overwhelming, especially on the Steam Deck, which I don't know why I thought that I should play it on the Steam Deck. <laughs> that really gives you the feeling of... Are we okay? I don't know, I heard them. Oh God, they're there. You know, like it gives you this real feeling of, of nervousness and fear and worry. I also think the electric guitar really enhances it too. A little dissonance in there. A banjo. I like how too there's like in this low version there's this moment where there's like space before it's almost like the heart beating or like you breathing so there's a space in there it actually makes it more intense because it doesn't continue on and then it picks back up so it, there, there's space and we understand that space in music is really helpful in telling a story but it also uh, creating any kind of emotion in this case stress and worry and concern and fear instrumentation here is actually really smart and fun and it really gives it like that banjo is so synonymous with americana that is really really interesting to listen to musically strings But you actually do hear that ticking clock now. And it's actually really cool because we had each layer individually and now we've actually stacked all of them up. Oh, I love this. It really does paint a bleak picture, especially when we pull all the way back and we have this sort of silence and you're staring off into the distance, wondering how it got to be this way. And you see, you know, a couple zombies over there and you're just like, oh man. The emotional depth here. There's like a little bit of frustration in the color and anger and fear, of course. And this, this feeling of uh, emptiness and loss and not having uh, the means to get out of this terrible situation. It's, it's, it's powerful.
Yeah, so much pain in here. Next one's mid. Yeah, so we retain the melody. Da ya da da ya da 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 ya da 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 ya da da ya. But I also really like that now because it's a mid energy being chased, being pursued. Now we're dialing it up slightly. What used to be under the surface now is coming forward and being placed in the, well, the midground. And it's starting to become a presence. It's really cool. Yeah, nice use of those strings there. It's subtle, you know, it's not in your face. The shifts that occur are not like so pronounced that they are drastic. Like this really does feel like a continuation of what we heard, but now there's a bit of a shift. There's a bit more intensity. It's kind of the same. And it's actually like weirdly meditative. It's super ambient, but what's cool about it is that it, it does give an emotional connection to the piece where I feel something and I feel of like a fear mostly. The, the track is called Determination, so there is this like, okay, I gotta go into this place, I have to grab these supplies, I have to be quick about it, I'm looking over my shoulder, I'm checking around to make sure things are okay, and then I move forward, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it's interesting how the tension racks up here as we move through these musical gestures, even though realistically nothing has really changed, just some instrumentation is being thrust forward like I mentioned earlier.
Yeah, it's such a good musical move to pull all the way back after having this. It's a little repetitive, but in out of context like this to just listen to it, it's sort of like, okay, where are we going? That said, in context, I feel like this would make your blood absolutely pump, which is ultimately what its purpose is. climbing higher and higher and higher. Yeah, yeah, we're building to something. We haven't lost the like rhythmic identity of what the first low track was. This has this build up here that now we've got these horns and obviously now the stakes are unbelievably high and we're just we're full on sprinting through the streets, right? Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Minimalist music, John Adams, Philip Glass, we're using the same sort of style where it's and it actually does somehow manage to tell a story even without necessarily a melody that changes changes throughout the piece. It's kind of repetitive. And in this case, it's repetitive, but repetitive in this case doesn't mean bad. It just means that you enter into like a, a sort of trance state when listening to this music and it helps us feel whatever emotion needs to come out of us. And in this case, obviously the intention is to create this determination with our backs against the wall. That is actually such an incredibly epic trumpet line and brass line. And actually that takes that original motive and it shifts it. Yeah. 
that really, 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 really is super plaintive and very focused and powerful, especially because we're using the brass. If it was violin, I would say that this is much more of a story of the character, but this is actually like a, a, the chase sequence and just the feeling of determined focus and of driving forward in spite of all the terrible things that are occurring around you. Wow, certainly very, very, very long. It starts to sort of become rote in the ear. It starts to lose a little bit of the intensity when you listen to it over and over and over and over and over and over and over like I just did. That said, I really love just how effective the actual length of that actually is. Sometimes it's easy It's easy to say, well, eh, that piece is kind of long, I'm gonna tune out. But actually when you let it kind of sink in into you, there's this real sensation of heroic discomfort is the best way I could describe that. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. There's really this da ya da 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 really feels like there's no way you're gonna get out of this and you will die. And I think that that's part of the thing about Project Zomboid is that you will die and that's that's the whole thing and then you start back up and you do the thing over and over again. And I think actually in some ways that constant repetitive motion could actually be the expression of what it means to play the game. You as the player to be determined as the track is called Determination to continue on and, and really get it done and do what needs to do, be done and survive this, this terrible situation. I really like that track. That, that was fun. Could have been like eight minutes shorter. If you like this sort of stuff, there's lots more on the channel. Feel free to like, subscribe, check out the Discord if you want to come and hang out and chat. And as always, thanks a ton and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.